Hello students, <coughs> welcome to your channel Parivartan Physics. See, uh, in morning video we have seen two marks important numericals from electromagnetic induction. In this video we will see two marks important numericals from moving charges and magnetism. See in all three blueprints and in all three model papers we are having one two mark numerical from moving charges and magnetism, right. So here I have chosen the numericals from the question bank which has been released by the board also and some extra numericals also I have chosen from some other books so that uh, maximum possibilities of two marks questions whichever are there in moon charts and magnetism all those I have covered in this right. So this will help you in touching one two mark numerical problem from moon charges and magnetism okay without delaying uh, let us begin the video then uh, okay let us go for the first question see the first question is a proton is moving with a velocity of 5 into 10 raised to 6 this is 10 to the power 6 okay meter per second in a direction perpendicular to a magnetic field of strength 0.1 tesla find the force on proton charge on proton is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb okay find the force on the proton they have asked so force on the charge we have to find that the formula for the force on charges f is equal to qvb sin theta this is the formula to find the force on a charged particle f is equal to qvb sin theta f is equal to bil sin theta there are two formulas for the force f is equal to qvb sin theta is the force on charge f is equal to bil sin theta is the force on wire current carrying conductor okay well so the charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 why because it is mentioned as proton right other suppose our alpha particle and the alpha particle and you have to take the charge of two proton two q and then you talk Q1 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. Alpha particle means it is it will be having the charge of two protons. Okay, Q. What is the velocity? Velocity is 5 into 10 raised to 6. 5 into 10 raised to 6. What is B? How much is B? Magnetic field. Magnetic field is 0.1 and sin theta. Theta is 90 degree here. Right? In the direction perpendicular to the magnetic field. Perpendicular to the theta is equal to 90 degree. Okay, so sin 90 will become 1. I will get it as 1.6 into 5. Okay, Illinois, either minus 0.1 means it is 10 to the power minus 1 and thunder. It is 10 to the power minus 1. So 10 to the power minus 19, 10 to the power minus 1 will be 10 to the power minus 20. Right? It will be 10 to the power minus 20 into this one is 10 to the power 6. Okay. So we'll get it as 1.6 into 5 into 10 to the power minus 20 plus 6 will be minus 14. Okay, 1.6 into 5. We have to calculate 1.6 into 5. Uh, exam pressure vulgar, tension vulgar, simple calculations could have mistake character tava. So as much as possible use the calculator only. However, the calculator is used. Okay. So this is 8 into 10 to the power minus 14. 8 into 10 to the power minus 14 Newton. So this much will be the force acting on that charged particle. Is to force number a charged particle mele act actor. Correct? Okay. So next we'll go for the second question now. We'll go for the second question. Okay, second question is a metallic wire 7 meter in length and carrying a current of 6 ampere is placed in a magnetic field of 0.1 Tesla. Okay, calculate the magnitude of force on the conductor when it is placed at an angle 30 degree with the field. Angle is given, magnetic field is given, length of the conductor is given. So here they are asking us to calculate the magnetic force on the conductor. So magnetic force on the conductor is given by F is equal to BIL sin theta. Right, F is equal to BIL sin theta. Formulas on the water marivatri, you have to remember the formulas. Sakast numericals all madritri, derivations can you madritri, sakast exams can madritri, formulas nan pirthauri. Have no doubt on it. Okay, okay, magnetic field. How much is the magnetic field? 0.1 Tesla. How much is the current? Current is 6 ampere. How much is the length? Length is 7 meter into sin 30 degree. Sin 30 degree. Right? Okay. So, I will get it as uh, sin 30 degree means it will be 1 divided by 2 half. So, the 0 0.1 into 6 into 7 sin 30 is 1 by 2, 2 ones are 2 threes are. So, I will get it as 0 0.1 into 3 into 7 will be 21. 0 0.1 means it is 10 to the power minus 1. So, this will be 2.1 Newton. This much will be the force acting on that conductor. Correct? Okay. Well, we will go for the next question then. So, the next question is a current of 5 milliampere passing through a coil of 10 turns okay this is on coil first question was on charge force on charge second question was force on conductor now this is magnetic field due to circular coil okay 5 milliampere current is passing in a coil whose number of turns is 10 magnetic field of strength is 6.28 into 10 to the power minus 8 tesla 
at the center of the coil. Okay, center of the coil and thunder. Right? Calculate the radius of the coil. See, magnetic field at the center of the coil is given by B is equal to mu naught Ni upon 2R. How do we get this formula? We get this formula from magnetic field at an axial point of the circular coil. 5 marks on the end, the derivation of the our derivation of the magnetic field at, at a point on the axis of the coil. Our distance D now 0 upon better center circular coil is the center of the magnetic field. So this is the formula for magnetic field at the center of circular coil. Okay. Well, let us continue. What is the value of mu naught? Mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into n number of turns. Number of turns is 10, right? Into I, how much is the current? 5 milliampere. 5 milliampere, 10 to the power minus 3. Milli means 10 to the power minus 3. Divided by 2 into radius. 2 into radius. How much is the radius? Radius yesterday. Okay. Radius only we have to calculate. Okay. Magnetic field is given. <coughs> magnetic field is 6.28 into 10 to the power minus 8. This much is the magnetic field. Okay. Uh, we are having 2 ones are 2 twos are will get cancelled. So we are having 2 pi, 2 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 minus 3 will be 10 to the power minus 10 into 10 into 5. 10 into 5. Right. So 2 pi means it will be 6.284 only. Right. So the 2 pi 1s are 2 pi 1s. We'll get it cancelled. <laughs> 10 to the power minus 8 from this, 10 to the power minus 8 from this will get cancelled. So here I will get it as 1 into this is uh, uh, divided by r will be here. Okay. This will be 10 to the power not really. Either 10 to the power minus 8, 10 to the power minus 8 over really 10 to the power minus 2 into 10 to the power 1 into 5 divided by r. So r will come on this side. r is equal to. So this is 10 to the power minus 1 into 5. 10 to the power minus 1 into 5. So, R will be 0 0.5 meter. This number radius work. Correct? Okay. So, in uh, in another way, they can give you radius and they can ask you the magnetic field at the center of the coil. How go the same formula use use? Radius put the field calculate. Right? Okay. We will go to the next question. See, a long straight wire carries a current of 35 ampere. What is the magnitude of the magnetic field B at the point 20 centimeter from the wire? Okay. So, this is the straight wire which is carrying a current of 35 ampere, 35 ampere. At a distance of 20 centimeter from the wire, we have to calculate the magnetic field. And this is the magnetic field of a straight wire. So, magnetic field of a straight wire is given by B is equal to mu naught I divided by 2 pi R. Right? This is the formula for the magnetic field due to a straight wire. This is mu naught. Eh? Okay. So, mu naught and thunder, it will be 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. How much is the current? Current is 35 amperes divided by 2 pi into r r is the distance okay distance is 20 centimeter we'll take it in meter 20 into 10 to the power minus 2 clear okay so this is 2 pi 1s are 2 pi 2s are 2 1s are 2 10s are will get cancelled so we'll get it as 35 into 10 to the power minus 7 divided by 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 means it will be 10 to the power minus 1 correct 10 to the power minus 1 10 to the power minus 1 will get cancelled 35 into 10 to the power minus 6 so, this is magnetic field. This much will be the magnetic field. If you change the power, then the decimal point will vary. This is the magnetic field at this point due to the straight wire. Correct? Okay. Let us go to the next question then. So, the next question is a solenoid. Okay. Now, the question is on solenoid. A solenoid has 1000 turns per meter. A current of 5 ampere is flowing through it. Calculate the magnetic field inside the solenoid. Okay. See, number of turns per meter is given. It means it is not capital N. It is small n. If they have mentioned it as 1000 turns only, then capital N is equal to 1000 you can take. It is mentioned as 1000 turns per meter, 1000 turns per centimeter. If they have given per meter per centimeter like that, then it is number of turns per unit length. Okay. So, small n is 1000 and current is 5 ampere. Okay. Current is 5 ampere. We are asked to calculate the magnetic field of the solenoid. What is the expression for magnetic field due to solenoid? It is B is equal to mu naught Ni. Correct. What is the value of mu naught? 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. What is the value of n? n is 1000. 1000 means I will take it as 10 to the power 3. What is the value of current? Current is 5. Right? Okay. What I will get? 4 into 5 will be 20. So 20 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 plus 3 will be minus 4. Okay. Well, so I can write it as 2 pi into 10 to the power minus 3. Because here we have 10 to the power plus 1, 10 to the power minus 4, it will be minus 3. Okay, so 2 into pi, it will be 6.284, 6.28 into 10 to the power minus 3, 
tesla this much will be the magnetic field if you change the power of 10 uh, decimal point will change its location okay we'll go for the last question then okay a moving coil galvanometer has various particulars as n is equal to 30 number of turns is given magnetic field 0.25 tesla area is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square and k is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 this is power minus 3 right newton meter per degree determine the current sensitivity of the galvanometer okay current sensitivity of the galvanometer is given by n b a divided by k n b a divided by k current sensitivity athwa kelavond kade current sensitivity now ee tarano define maartive current per unit deflection current per unit deflection right so uh, i by theta or theta by i we define it like that also uh, presently that is not useful this formula is useful okay so this, this is n b a divided by k number of terms yesterday it is 30 right magnetic field yesterday 0 0.25 0 0.25 into uh, area how much is the area 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 is the area divided by k k value is 10 to the power minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 will get cancelled okay let us calculate this value now okay so the value will be see it is 30 into 0 0.25 into 1.5 so 11.25 will be the current sensitivity ampere degree per ampere will be the unit of this correct okay so this is the current sensitivity degree per ampere well so these are the numericals important numericals two marks numericals from moving charges and magnetism so we have seen two marks numericals from electromagnetic induction two marks numericals from moving charges and magnetism uh, some more possibilities are we'll get we may get three mark numerical from electromagnetic induction and we may get three marks or two marks numerical from nuclei also so even those videos i am going to do uh, so you Put a comment which on which chapter you want uh, three mark numerical from electromagnetic induction first or uh, from nuclei first okay that will decide and we'll make a video on that uh, so if possible i will upload it today only right thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel please don't forget to subscribe and share the video with your friends and please keep supporting the channel thank you so much uh, we'll meet again in the next video okay bye